Republican House leaders may have overcome one of the biggest roadblocks to repealing Obamacare. The effort failed last month when a group of conservatives refused to support it. Well, now members of that group say they'll support a revised version of the American Health Care Act. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill with the changes that other members might reject. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Those conservative members always felt that the GOP plan left too many of Obamacare's minimum coverage requirements in place, requirements they believe drive up premiums. Well, there's a new prom compromise that they support, and that is a big breakthrough, except that some moderates think it makes the bill worse. Certainly now we're down to days, not weeks. After weeks of negotiations, members of the Conservative Freedom Caucus say they are finally ready to vote yes. We're supportive of the MacArthur Amendment and the underlying bill as, as it's coming forward. Virginia's Dave Bratt is one member who came around. None of us are going to be totally happy. I'm a free market guy. There's better ways to move on some of this stuff, but we want the momentum to go forward to tax reform, getting the budget through and all that. This is what got him there, a new amendment allowing states to eliminate some of Obamacare's patient protections, including one that prevents insurers from jacking up rates for people with pre-existing conditions. Those states would be given some funds to set up high-risk pools to help cover those who would no longer be able to afford insurance. This is a, a different twist, and I've got to re-examine it. The twist meant to appease conservatives is turning off some moderates. We have to help those people that were harmed by the Affordable Care Act, but at the same time not harm the people that were helped by it. We need to take a step back. Pennsylvania Republican Charlie Dent has always been a no and believes this amendment violates one of the party's promises. Well, it could affect people with pre-existing conditions um, and that it'll make insurance uh, probably much more expensive for them and in some cases perhaps inaccessible. The question is how many members will defect. GOP leaders still aren't sure. Can we see a vote on health care this week or next? We'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll vote on it when we get the vote. Another sticking point for several Republicans I spoke to is a provision in this new plan that keeps those Obamacare protections in place for members of Congress and their aides. The authors say it's in there for technical reasons, Gail, but they know how it looks and they're going to try to figure out a way to work around it. All right, Nancy, thank you.